Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you my Saturday crafting. Um, I did pick out of my jar of different things that I have in my um, stash in my crafting space that I will be trying to bring you a video every Saturday with. I'm, so I'm picking out two two slips of paper from the jar and whatever I pick is what I have to use to try to use up some of my items, you know, and uh, make some things that I can use for journals or whatever. Um, so in my last video, I had picked from the jar, I picked use greeting card fronts and I also picked book page. And um, I did also pick for the following Saturday, just so I can start thinking and going through my stuff to figure out what I need to pull from. So I did pick uh, old greeting cards, which it didn't say. The, the other one that I'm using for today said card fronts. This one is for the entire, uh, an old greeting card. So it's basically cards that I've received or people have given me because they know I use them in my journals. And then the other item I pulled was patterned paper scraps. So that would be like um, cutoffs from uh, scrapbook paper that I have left over from making journals or whatever, whatever scraps of patterned paper. So I will be working with those two on my next Saturday's video. So let's go ahead and get into what I'm doing today. So basically I had this bag here of um, old greeting cards, used greeting card fronts where I've cut them up. You know, I've cut pieces from them, cut words out of them. And then I just pulled some very old book page that I have and I'm going to use the plain side where there's no writing. I'm going to use, I pulled some of the bigger card fronts that I had cut out, and I'm going to make tags, uh, like for gifts. Since I'm making gift baskets and things, I want to go ahead and start making some tags. So I did, I pulled this one. It's for like a mother, it came from a Mother's Day card, and I'm going to turn it into a gift tag. So you can see there's writing on there. Um, I'm going to try to straighten them up with my paper cutter, clean them up a little bit. Here's one that says happy birthday. So it would make a cute little birthday tag, but I'm going to put this paper on the backs of all of them. I do have a stamp. I didn't pull it out, but it says to and from. I could use that as well. This is a um, piece that I cut out. It's like has a flower embossed on there, which would be cute on a Mother's Day basket as well as um, like any kind of spring or a, any, a lady's gift basket. Um, I also, on the backs of these tags, I could list what's in the basket, you know, if I wanted to. I have this one that says love. I have this one that says it has a birthday cake, so this would make a cute um, gift tag for a birthday gift basket. Here's one with Christmas cookies on it. This is just some yellow that was actually um, cut from a card. All these were cut from greeting cards that have been used. This one says dad, which would be perfect for a Father's Day gift tag. This one has a butterfly. This one is, says king of the castle, which will be another Father's Day. This one I could probably make two tags out of one by cutting it down. So I'm going to go ahead and um, trim these up, cut them down, and then I'm going to glue them to the book page, and then I'll cut them out. So 
like for this one basically all I'm going to do is try to get my edges straight um, using my cutter so I'm gonna go all the way around this and cut it down and make some cute little tags so I'll have some gift tags ready to go to put on some gifts or gift baskets or whatever so like this here those are ready I'm going to take my crocodile and um, punch some holes and I'm going to add eyelets to them just to make them look finished I think that'll make it look a lot nicer if they have if they have um, the eyelet in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut down and glued to the paper and then I'll be right back. I'm just getting the last few cut down and then I'll punch a hole in them and put my eyelet through them. And then I have a bag of like pieces of ribbon and lace and things that I can use for um, the tie. I can put some string through them or whatever. Um, so I'm just getting them cut down so the back you can see the book book page. Yeah, and then I'll have some gift tags ready to go. I could further embellish these by adding, you know, something on, uh, some other embellishments on top. But for now, I'm just going to just add the eyelets to them and maybe some string. cut down and then I'm going to take my crocodile and then I have some eyelids here so I just need to figure out where I want the whole I think I'm just going to put it right there Then what I'll do is look in here and pick out some colors that I want to use. Purple, blue. Let's see. Got yellow. There's a pink. So all I'm going to do is just put an eyelet through the hole, take my crocodile, and close 
it up. Well, not hold it up, but okay. And there's that. Um, I have a bag with some pieces of ribbon and stuff in it, so. Go ahead and add this purple to this one, just like this. Just like that. And then it'll be ready to, to tie on a gift. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done. And I'll be back to share them with you. Okay, crafty friends, I got them all finished. And I'll show you um, where I was saying you could also just add to them. This um, is a piece from off of one of the card fronts, a flower. And then the word happiness is from the card as well. So I just uh, glued those on there and I have my ribbon that I can tie around the gift basket or attach it to a wrapped gift. And then I also added onto this one here, made it say happy birthday. And this was cut right from a card. And then this butterfly was cut out from the card. So you can add to them. Also, you can add a little bling if you like sparkles. So that's what I've done to this Mother's Day one. It's not dried yet, but um, it's got some little jimmies on there that sparkle. And then on this happy birthday tag, uh, I put two little flat back pearls on there. So I have them all finished. They all have ribbon and they're ready to go. And then you can write to and from on the back or stamp it or whatever. So this is how I have used my old greeting card fronts and some book paper. So thank you for watching the video if you like these kind of videos please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and then that way um if you subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit that bell to be notified when i upload a new video and um, you'll be notified when i upload next saturday's craft par um, project using pattern paper scraps and old greeting cards so and as far as old greeting cards they may be just some old ones I have in my stash that have not been written in or um, an old greeting card that hasn't been cut up or altered or anything yet but it's been written in been used or whatever so that's what I'll be doing for next Saturday's video so until the next one, everyone, keep crafting. Bye-bye.